الحمد للہ و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد فرم دی گائیڈنس دی صلف صالح رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ مجمعین regarding seeking the knowledge regarding talab al-ilm and this is beautiful advice and beautiful examples for us to reflect on and, and strive to get our lives in order in accordance with the Salaf al-Salih in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and how the Salaf al-Salih the Salaf al-Hadhi Ummah the, the predecessors, the pious predecessors of this ummah, how they went about seeking the knowledge, the manners, purifying their intentions, and all those those things, those attributes which we want to have. So here's some of the effort of the Salaf and how they used to memorize and keep the knowledge. Qala Amir ibn Sharahil al-Sha'bi who died 103 Hijri. He said, كنا نستعين على الحفظ الحديث بالعمل ونستعين على طلبه بالصوم. He said that we used to seek to memorize hadith by practicing and we sought to seek the knowledge are those things which helped us in, in, in uh, containing that knowledge was fasting so again that comes with amal that shows us that amal is the way to practice uh, amal is the way it's the thamarat al ilm it's the fruit of in the the fruit of of knowledge you know it's the end result is that you have righteous deeds and that in addition to that it's also a means to attaining knowledge subhanallah so that that's a excellent example for us to follow from the salaf of the hadhi ummah waqad uthira an ghayr wahid min as-salaf wa ashtahara an imam ahl sunnati ahmed ibn hanbal qawlahu ما بلغني حديث إلا عملت عملت به وما عملت به إلا حفظته. So more than one from the salaf of this ummah related a statement similar to this, and this is the statement of Imam Ahmed, رحمه الله تعالى, in that he said that whenever a hadith, whenever I gained a hadith, where it was related to me a hadith. Or whenever, or a, a hadith did not come to me, except that I practiced it, and I didn't practice a hadith except that I memorized it. So it shows us that the way to memorize, the way to have, the way to gain the knowledge, is by practicing it, striving to practice what we've read, strive to practice what. The knowledge we sought, the benefit, the hadith that we listened to, the hadith that we read, the statement of the ulama, or the statements of the ulama, or however we attain that knowledge. But the way to keep that knowledge is by practicing it. And this is the minhaj of the Salaf al Salih. Radiallahu ta'ala anu manjma'in. Waqala waqi ibn jarah, rahimahullah ta'ala. وإذا أردت أن تحفظ الحديث فعمل به. If you want to memorize hadith, then practice it. And those are just some of the narrations of the Salaf. Also, in a statement of Imam uh, of Anas ibn Malik رضي الله تعالى عنه, who said, كنا نكون عند النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم فنسمع منه حديث فإذا قمنا تذاكرناه فيما بيننا حتى نحفظه أنس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه said we used to be with the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم and we would listen to 
a hadith from him. You know, we would listen to him. Uh, this is this was those hadith. You know, he they would benefit from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and. He said, then after that, we would leave and we would, and we would uh, make revision between us of what we learned from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wala Alaihi Wasallam. So it shows us, again, practicing. Uh, and they would do this until they memorized. So it shows us again, practicing is the way to, to memorization. And that this is the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah from the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum to the Tabi'een with bad Tabi'een and those who follow them. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and bless us to be of those who have ikhlas with the bad Allah Sunnah.